So we're going to start here um, on our option, our food chemistry option, by looking at um, this is F1, and so F1 is is on food groups. That's where we're going to start. So F1, we're going to look at food uh, groups, um, and after we look at food groups in F1, um, we'll, we'll start in a little bit on fats and oils next, which is F2. So F1, we're looking at food groups here to start. So our first thing is we have to distinguish between what is a what is a food and what is a nutrient. Well, a food, uh, there's a definition there. Um, again, same one. It's it's right from your standards. It, it, it's any substance um, that is t intended for human consumption. So anything intended for human consumption uh, uh, can be considered a food. Um, okay, so not drugs, not tobacco, um, alcohol tends to not be considered a food. Um, a nutrient is a substance um, that provides energy, uh, regulates growth, maintenance, repair of body tissues. And, and again, these are definitions that you want to have down because there's things that might say, what is food? Um, what is a nutrient? Now, notice some food are going to be nutrients, some food not. Um, if it is a nutrient, again, uh, it's obtained from food. So food gives us nutrients, and the nutrients provide us energy to regulate growth, maintenance, and repairs of our tissues. Now, what we're going to focus on here is proteins, lipids, carbohydrates, vitamins, and minerals, and water, which are all considered nutrients. So we're going to look at these things that are considered nutrients. Okay, so now we need to... So that is that is F1, is just having the definition of food, having the definition of a nutrient. F, the, the second standard under food groups, is describing the composition of lipids, fats, oils, carbohydrates, and proteins. So uh, fats and oils right here, as it says... Uh, maybe I'll make it line around that so we can see it. Um, fats and oils are triesters, or called triglycerides, and they are formed from three long-chain fatty acids, carboxylic acid molecules, and one glycerol molecule. And we'll look at some examples here in a second. Um, the simplest of our carbohydrates are called monosaccharides, mono meaning one. Uh, one sugar group, and so again, we'll look at what that is. These are just broad definitions first. Um, our carbohydrates all contain one carbonyl group, some CO double bond, and at least two OH bonds, and have this empirical formula, CH2O. So this is our empirical formula of our carbohydrates, of our monosaccharides. This is their empirical formula. Um, the actual thing is going to be multiples of this. And then the proteins are made up of two amino acids. And again, first time looking at a lot of this uh, terminology, it, it does make a lot of sense. Let's go on um, and, and look at some images of what these structures look like, help bring uh, some clarification to it. So first, here are things that are considered our fats and oils. So notice they all have this carboxylic acid functional group. So all our fats, all our oils that are listed here, they all have that carboxylic acid group. So notice we have it on the end here. Um, this is this is actually a, a triglyceride because it has one, two, uh, three carboxylic acids groups together. So this is a um, fat, and this particular fat would be a triglyceride because they're formed from um, three of these uh, carboxylic acid compounds all linked together. Notice while we're looking at these, just, just uh, as a point of clarity, these would be considered unsaturated fats because this triglyceride has some double bonds. So this is unsaturated. Unsaturated because it has double bonds. So just like when we were looking at organic chemistry, double bonds are an unsaturated compound. So this is an unsaturated fat. These, this listed, these are all, um, these are a list of saturated fats, meaning they're all singly bonded. This is a single carbon chain with a carboxylic acid at the end. So again, what we want to do right now is just be able to recognize what is a fat. Um, and the fatty acid is going to be carboxylic acid oh, attached to a long chain. Notice 6 carbons, 8 carbons, 10 carbons, 12, 14, 16. So these huge, huge chains of carbons. Again, just a chain of carbons, just an alkane chain with a carboxylic acid functional group on the end. If we link a bunch of those together, again, we can get our triglyceride. Um, and if there's any double bonds in them, that makes them unsaturated. So we have saturated fats, unsaturated fats, um, and these are single chains, and then these are triglycerides. Okay, so those are fats. These are sugars. Like we said, all sugars have this group, and they all have at least two of these. So when these are called, uh, this, these, are, these particular ones are monosaccharides um, because they're just, they're a single chain. 
So notice what these have. If we look at glucose, the actual molecular formula of glucose is, what is it, C6H12. Oops, 12, O6. Oh, so again, this is the molecular formula. Again, the empirical formula of all of our sugars is CH2O. So that, again, gives us this structure here, our one carbon oxygen double bond, our two alcohol groups that are in it. Again, that is what needs to be in a sugar. That's how we recognize that it's a sugar. This is its empirical formula. This glucose, as an example, is C6H12O6. That's one example of, um, of a sugar here. Again, just a multiple of the empirical formula. So an amino group, like I said, is, this is our amine, right? The NH, um, amino acids, is a carboxylic acid linked together with an amine. So amino and acid is an amine and an acid. And notice there's an acid group and an amine group on each of these, and they link together to form chains, and those are our proteins. So, again, the important thing is to be able to recognize what these things are. So fats, oils, are going to have a big, long carbon chain, R, with a carboxylic acid group on the end. So that's what's going to be fats and oils. Our sugars, like we said, are going to have the empirical formula of CH2O. They have to have a carbon oxygen double bond, and they have to have at least two OH compounds in them. That's going to be one of our sugars. Our proteins are going to have these amino links. So they're going to have the nitrogen in them, and also a carboxylic acid, a linkage between those.